Greetings everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tarko Gaming and uh, well today we're going to talk about an exciting news we got uh, yesterday on DC Unchained guys. A new update is finally coming. It's been since July 12th that we did not get an update in DC Unchained and uh, to be honest guys, most of the community actually quit the game so they are trying to uh, get people back hopefully this update is actually going to work out for them because if not uh, there will never be a global launch for DC Unchained Sally. I really hope this game succeeds this game used to be awesome they did some mistakes but now we're going to check through the patch notes guys to see if they are going to fix some of those mistakes they did in the past so let's go here let's start uh, uh, this, maintenance, this maintenance will update the patch we announced earlier. Uh, please continue for more information. Damn, I want more information. <laughs> okay, guys, this update is going to happen on September 27th, that's for sure. Uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. UTC plus 7. Uh, during the maintenance, user will not be able to access the game, you know, like usually. Uh, please understand that delay in iOS examination may result in delay in the maintenance check. Let user or user knows of when there are delays as soon as possible. Well, basically, uh, what I mean here, guys, is that <coughs> most most developer actually send the update uh, days before they actually do the update. But so the Google Play Store and App Store can actually check the update make sure the update is actually uh, legit it's good then they approve the update but DC Unchained Creative Labs 433 actually send the update at the same time that they are updating their servers and doing the maintenance check so sometimes that can actually cause a delay for the app store to actually check the update okay so update details rank war AI PvP doesn't say much here I guess we're gonna see. Uh, had SS rank characters, now the characters are gonna get another uh, rank up. Like if you compare to Marvel Future Fight, for example, it's like when the characters got from tier 1 to tier 2, in my opinion. Uh, Daily Boss, which is going to be awesome. Or more information for Daily Boss, you can refer to the old July update notice that was actually delayed to today. Uh, <clears throat> Improve early stage tutorial, add skin obtaining tutorial, add daily boss rank award tutorial, revise character recruiting tutorial, add tactic cover tutorial. Beside the above mentioned, more tutorial will be added and improved to assist with gameplay, which is a bit late to add a tutorial in my opinion. All those things should have been done when the game was actually released. Uh, in March or May, I don't exactly exactly remember. I think it was the end of March. Okay, had new skins, a lot of new skins, guys. Artemis Requiem, Ocean Master, Flashpoint, Harlequin, Mad Love, Mera Aqua Woman, Cyborg Grid, Star Sapphire, Silver Age. Pretty much the first uh, skin I'm going to get, guys, because she is my baby in the Sun Chain. Uh, Laugh. Larf Fleas, a slave miner, Captain Gold, the new 52 leg suitor, Justice League suit. So it's really amazing that they're bringing a lot of skins. It's nine skin guys. It's the biggest skin upgrade update we ever had in DC Engine. I think that they're trying to make up for the two months and a half we did not get an update. All skin name will be changed, changed into the same type as above. Okay. Content re uh, revision, so that means some content is actually going to be changing, guys, which is something we really want to see changing as uh, the content has changed in a negative way in most players' opinion, and uh, some changes are actually needed to uh, for the game to become better. Uh, revise the Vision Quest play system, change AP point collection system into completing uh, requirement system. User will be able to escape from meaningless repeating battle and step into each character's uniqueness and train and training battle style to gain rewards. So no more, you know, uh, endless auto replay on easy mode and go bed and wait till the morning you actually have a reason to play vision quest which is actually gonna be awesome because when you play a game mode and you don't have no reason to play that game mode it's kind of boring kind of boring so that just that is a great change 
Now, improve competitive battles in Enchain Party Mode. Oh, I'm excited to read that. Uh, by the way, guys, I haven't read the patch notes yet. I'm reading it with you guys. Improve the re improve to reduce points when detecting unusual play at the beginning of the battle to prevent airplane mode or any suspected background application using. So that's pretty good. That's going to actually, you know, some people, oh man, this guy is too strong. I'm just going to make the, the fight cancel so I don't actually lose point. Well, that's going to counter that. A user who are facing network pro problems will lose PBT, P PvP match or forced up in battle after a certain time, which is awesome because um, it's not just that yeah, it sucks that some people are going to have crash on their network and they actually lose their PvP match. But so many people were just forced closing the game just to not get a loss. So they had to do something to counter that, which is actually the best way to do that. Uh, remove everyday honor point UI in a lobby. Changing rewarding method. Change honor point rewarding from everyday match daily. Uh, time competitive battle play achievement reward okay so that is really hard to understand that point I guess we'll see when it actually go live the base revision so change are coming to the base the base is actually one of the things I hate the most in DC and chain uh, it's meaningless in my opinion you just go click on stuff you get some buffs and that's pretty much it there's you know there's no commitment to your base there's no reason to just stay in the base and work on stuff I wish they actually do that kind of stuff but Change guild buff reduce base production time to reduce Valorium upgrade time, which is awesome. You will be able to easily dispatch the same set of characters after receiving a dispatch reward. That's very awesome because that was very annoying. You'll be able to access each base after receiving any rewards available or confirming production completion at the main base lobby. Had base inventory expansion item that is cool. Increasing our inventory is always nice. Base production center and dispatch centers rewards stack up to maximum 999 times. That's a lot. And you'll be able to make a base production and dispatch character until reaching the limit number. Main characters available to use in mission during dispatch mission. That is, that is. That is great, man. As function that link characters information with the dispatch lobby. If that's one, it's kind of vague. I wish they'd give more explanation. Uh, had the daily reward of Unchained. You'll be able to choose one silver card of each mission completing. Um, well, after one each mission completing, max five cards. So five cards a day for playing Unchained mission, guys, which is at least something guaranteed you get that is not actually RNG base. UI revamp. Had choosing number of Valorium selection characters unlocker when using link to where to gain an item where the item insufficiency pop up appears. Add gauge rank of characters process in characters information in stat info at the rate of occurrence evasion etc. that varying on an enemy stat. It's it's vague here, guys. It's very vague. Uh, hopefully, we're going to see it uh, a little bit more when it actually go live. But it's a little bit vague. So the next part: uh, Karen's character balance and box fix. Clipsal Black Heaven fix unique skill named that are switching. Zatena fix Zatena unique skill description in recommended character. Cyborg fix issue of homing missile skill that occasionally not attacking an enemy. Blaze fix issue of blood barrier improving wind protection support remain invincible uh, even uh, after the skills even the skills ends after the gear is upgraded. Add HP recovery effect to improve wing protection support. Fix if you have blood barrier gear improving wind protection. Ravage that not applying the bleed effect. So a lot of fix for bleeds to be honest. Uh, the Joker fix if you are recovering in HP when using. Why are you laughing? Uh, Aquaman the King of the Seven Seas fix an appearance of attacking range which differ from the, a real attacking range of Oceanic onsla uh, Onslaught. A Wonder Woman fix Laso of Truth to apply stun effect when stacking by pulling an enemy towards. 
super good on fixing issue of not applying invincibility after effect when dodging. It's actually uh, very important. <laughs> Use survivability here. Uh, Silver Banshee fixed issue of not applying invincibility effect when dodging. Fixed issue of not applying super armor when using ter terrifying screech. That's actually very important for the super armor especially. Uh, fixed issue of not applying activating effect when using soul extortion after using terrifying screech activation effect drains some amount of damage so some healing some super armor some invincibility that's going to make uh, silver banshee a little bit more viable to be honest catwoman fixed issue of catwoman making a motion of being attack when using surprise attack to attack that's a lot of attack words in the one sentence uh, fixed to applying stun effect to a target enemy immediately when equipping surprise attack gear upgrade Google's control flash fixed issue of continuing to attack an enemy for a long time after cancel a personic punch you know sometimes you want to cancel your skills so you can run away from stuff but when it doesn't actually cancel it can actually kill you so amazing 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 fix here uh, Cersei revise and decreasing movement speed attacks uh, speed effect of control senses in its description before reduce 1.8% add 0.3% per stack reduce 80% when stack max to 20 times now reduce 5% add 0.4% each skill level reduce 1.5% per stacks and max 20 stacks it's actually pretty good uh, don't know if the difference is going to be huge but it's going to be pretty similar it's just a little slight difference here uh, Cheetah uh, had increased attack power per le level 0.4%, remove uh, reducing defense per level 0.04% of Owl. That's going to make her a little bit better. Ocean Master fixed issue of not accurately hit while controlling bi direction K during watery prison. Man, they really need to work on their English, uh, English skills. This is hard to read, man. Uh, fix simulation combat balance first floor reduce monster 35 floor increase a potion obtaining number reduce monster level 37 floor increase monster level 38 floor increase monster level I really wish they reduce the damage you take from the fire and the fire stage uh, I think a lot of people are still stuck on those fire stage and it's really annoying uh, special mission reduce monster and removal of must elite monster in normal stage so making uh, basically uh, special mission easier uh, for people that are actually building their accounts which is actually pretty great box fix fix graphics error in some iOS devices fix issue of not applying user skill increasing attack power which supporters fix issues of occasionally not appearing a result screen result screen of competitive battle Fix Black Adam character type that appear as, as speed type character in the team training in the Mises. Others add new packages. Okay, a bunch of new packages. We're not going to go through that, guys. That's uh, people want to spend. They can actually read it, I guess. But overall, guys, um, not uh, as many change uh, changes as was expected after two months. And I'll uh, wait for an update, guys. But a great update. Uh, to be honest, there's a lot of changes that we needed. New skins, uh, change to specific game mode, fixing uh, people abusing the PvP system. So there are very, very important changes that are coming, guys, our way. Hopefully, this is not the stop of changes. Hopefully, they're going to be adding more changes, make the game more like it used to be. It used to be a lot more fun, at least for me personally. So I'm really hoping that they're going to that, guys. I'm going to be starting playing this game again uh, obviously um, I'm not going I will not be covering this update if I was not going to start playing the game again we're going to start by making videos and if you go if they go in the proper direction we might have one or two uh, stream day a week we'll see how it goes guys so uh, let me know what you think about this update in the comment section guys uh, and don't forget sub to the channel like the channel like the video and share this video with your friends so as always, 
you can help the channel grow guys so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video